65 years gone in 18 seconds. You're looking at seconds of sequenced explosions from 1,200 holes drilled into seven floors of the Doville Beach Resort. And just like that, it's no more, leaving behind a hole in the Miami Beach skyline. <laughs> I don't know why I was shocked, but I was shocked at the sound. It was very, you know, it was very dramatic. According to the city of Miami Beach, implosion went as expected and without injury. But as it came down, spectators were drawn in. Uh, there was a lot of people out there, I, you know, people, the crowd started gathering about an hour before. The BG Group LLC and CDI handled the implosion, which is the same team that imploded the remainder of the Champlain Tower in Surfside last year. It was loud and it was strong and, and physically, from a physical standpoint, and also emotionally. You know, we saw some people crying and um, they could have been crying because it, it shook so much. Or they could have been crying because some of the past is now gone. The building, constructed back in 1957, once a swanky star-studded hotspot, and in 2017, faulty wiring led to an electrical fire. Then, three years later, debris fell from the building, closing the beach walk behind it. For years, the city fought with the owners in court to maintain the building, but Sunday morning, a 65-year history came crashing down into itself. Now the big question is, what comes next? Just hope they build something new with and they honor it with the name or something like that in the future. Miami Dolphins owner and billionaire developer Stephen Ross opted to purchase the property, pending a new vision for the venue. He proposed a massive two-tower luxury hotel and condo taller than what regulations currently allow. Miami Beach voters rejected the proposal last Tuesday. So, for now, it's a pile of what once was, with plenty of space for the future. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.